there's this thing in me that loves to see things that are supposed to not be done, be done. Daniel is just one of 50,000 amputees left in the wake of the bloodiest war Africa has ever known. We flew into an active war zone in Sudan with 3D printers, laptops, spools of plastic, and the goal to build Daniel an arm. You ready? The concept of Project Daniel was hatched on July 11th. And on November 11th, Daniel fed himself for the first time in two years. But it's never about just one person. If we could teach the locals to do it themselves, then Project Daniel could live on long after we left. And it did. So that's Project Daniel. So there's two concepts. I'm gonna talk about a concept. Uh, Elliot's gonna talk about a concept. We founded a company called Non Impossible Labs, and it's based on the premise of technology for the sake of humanity. It's taking technology, hacking technology, taking existing technology, modifying it, altering it, and turning it into something that achieves a social need or a fundamental purpose that society has. It could be medical, it could be anything, but actually taking it and using it for a purpose that accomplishes something greater. And rather than allow that to feel overwhelming in a technological sense, we always apply the story to one person, how it affects that one life. And so our mantra as well is help one, help many, that enables us to inspire the many from the one, making everyone feel like they can do at least a little something. And achieve the not impossible. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys.